Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is George Kingori. I'm your online finance guy who speaks about all things finance. How you can be able to save, how you can be able to invest and how you can be able to grow in your finances. I am remember, remember I am here to educate, elevate and to motivate you as you grow in your financial journey. And today as I motivate you, I'm going to tell you how I spend my 45,000 shillings salary as I was beginning my career as a professional accountant. So how did I spend my money? So for the 45,000 shillings that I earned, I was able to, um, of course, this is not able, this is where you are statutorily deducted. I was deducted 8,220 towards my statutory deductions. That was pay as you earn or income taxes, uh, national housing insurance fund, uh, National Hospital Insurance Fund, NHIF, NSSF National Social Security Fund, coming to a total of 8,220. This is not something I spend my money on. However, it was already deducted for my salaries as is with every other Kenyan. As long as you are above a certain income level for your income taxes. Then the other thing is I spend 4,500 towards tithes and church contributions. So 4,500 towards church uh, contributions towards tithe. So the other amount that I spend my money on on is 6,000 shillings for rent. Remember I started with 750 shillings in rent. I will share a video on how I spend my 7,500 stipend. Uh, however, this with this time I upgraded and was able to live in a bed sitter for 6,000 shillings in Gara, Nairobi. Um, then I was able to spend 4,000 shillings on food. Uh, remember, I was still living with a guy that we were staying with and we were able to get some food and some other things because he was staying and working in a hotel uh, and there could be parties and things like that and there was some excess food and things like that and we were able to enjoy uh, some rations of meat here and there. Then the other amount of money that I spent on is 500 shillings airtime. This is again uh, for internet and calling and things like that. Again, not too much money, but uh, still an amount uh, of money that I spent on airtime. Then the other one was uh, 2,500 shillings uh, on dating and uh, meeting people. Let me call it meeting expenses. Yes, uh, and I will share the kind of the dating that I used to do and uh, how I used to structure myself to cut down costs on dating and things like that, but for every young man who is prospectively looking for someone, um, 2,500 is what I spend my money on. Then there was 9,000 shillings towards circle contributions. So I upgraded from my 2,000 every month contributions to 9,000 shillings contributions towards my circle. I was very keen on saving and again, up, to, up a, at a certain point, I was able to qualify for a loan and I was able to buy the two pieces of land that I shared with you on my journey uh, on investing on land. So I was doing a lot of contributions and I was still paying a loan and it was coming to around 9,000 shillings every single month, around $90. So again, 5,000 shillings was going towards uh, uh, social contributions, uh, contributions to help with Haram base where people are giving money to a certain social, social causes and things like that or where I felt the need to support uh, people who are doing uh, certain causes that uh, I was passionate about so 5,000 was going towards social contributions. Then the other thing was I was spending 3,000 shillings on help. Help is loan deductions towards your education. So we have loans that we are given as Kenyans towards our education which are repaid once you start earning money. So help had caught, out with, caught up with me and I was paying 3,000 shillings every single month. Again, I was continuously upgrading my skills. I was doing my CPS and I was contributing 2,000 shillings towards paying my education towards getting my CPA certification. So I was putting 2,000 because I never went to anyone's school. I was studying alone and putting a lot of effort on my own by using other people's notes and just paying the examination fees. And therefore the amount was coming to around 2,000 shillings every single month. Of course, it was difficult, but it was doable because I put on the effort and reduced on the cost that I would have otherwise have spent by going to school. Uh, formally, so 2,000 shillings towards my um, academic qualifications, then 
308 shillings as miscellaneous expenses. Again, I was living near town and so I was walking to where I was able to get transport to work and so I did not spend any single amount of money on transport. As long as I was going home and going to work, I was not spending much on transport. However, I had the 308 as miscellaneous for that one time in a month that I would go and travel back home and uh, visit my mom, uh, coming to around 200 shillings for the whole trip. So that is how I spend my 45,000 shillings income as I was starting my career. I hope that I have motivated you. I hope that you are learning, you are growing and you are gleaning from my financial journey. If you like such videos, please leave a comment below. Tell me how you spend your first salaries or your 45,000 shillings because remember, we are here to educate each other, to motivate each other in our financial journey. Like this video or subscribe to this uh, channel so that you can get be able to get this and much more as I post and help you in your financial journey. Thank you and enjoy your day.